Hey everybody, my name is Sheldon Sherrod and I own Enter360 Media. In a few seconds, I'm going to share with you a film that I just finished. Now typically, I'm working on bigger projects as a producer-director with a crew, but this one was near and dear to my heart and I decided to jump back in. I flew out to Texas and shot this for two and a half days, came home and edited the whole film. Now we went on to do a website and rip all kinds of stuff from that footage and create an arsenal of social media and we're handling everything for them now, logos, everything. But this film was a cornerstone of everything. It's going to connect with people on a personal level and make them want to pick them over you know, all the other opportunities out there. I really enjoyed spending my time with Kevin Kirsch at the ranch at Camp Kuliana. Location is completely secret because they're catering to high net worth hunters who want exclusivity and privacy. You're going to hear a lot about the history. This is like a 50-year culmination of events coming to him opening this up for hunting. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the film. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think of the film. Take a look at some of the others we've done. And if you need something else like this, give me a call. This property has been in my family for almost uh, 50 years, starting with my father. Not long after my dad became the owner of the property, I went off in the military. In fact, I had never seen uh, or been on the place until my father passed away in 2011. One thing I can tell you is that the very first time that I ever came here, I knew there was something unique, something special about this place. Now, I served in the Air Force for 28 years, and I've, and I've been everywhere from the Middle East to various parts of the United States, uh, Alaska, and a number of places in the Pacific. I've been to some more physically beautiful places, but there is a unique uh, beauty and feeling here, not only with the, the habitat, but the animals, the wildlife that surround you. It just, to me, creates a feeling that is hard to find anywhere else. The name of, of our company is the ranch at Camp Kahuiana. Kahuiana is actually Hawaiian for the meeting place. After we had named the property and began to develop it, one of the individuals that does work for us here began to find these artifacts. Some of those date back over 15,000 years. There's something about this place that drew those people here. And I feel it when I come here. And I have had other people that is almost as soon as they set foot on the property feel like there's something different about here. There's a feeling that they get. And that's the opportunity, that's the time that you experience that we want to provide for you. Not long after I became the owner of the property, this part of South Texas saw the beginning of a big oil boom. And that prompted people to search out property to you know, buy those from you. And I always took those letters and put them right in the shredder. I read some of them you know, initially, and some of the offers were pretty good, but I just knew and felt inside of me that we needed to hang on to this and make it available for other people to see really just stood out to us that one of the best ways to share it with other people was to provide hunting opportunities of white-tailed deer. I brought on Warren Blunter as a wildlife biologist to assess the herd and the, of the white-tailed deer that were here as well as the other wildlife and make recommendations on how we could improve the habitat, how we could improve the health of the animals that were here and how we might potentially improve the genetics of some of the animals that were here. We developed some of the road and sendero networks here. We added a, a high fence along the northern portion of the property. We added uh, new water systems in both the northern and southern parts of the property with uh, buried underground uh, water lines, uh, concrete water troughs to provide near maintenance free and widespread availability of water for the animals. We added uh, protein feeders for um, the white-tailed deer to help improve their, their diets and again, help improve their overall health and genetics. And then we also placed a series of lines and uh, corn feeders in different uh, select parts of the property to provide opportunities for those hunters to come in and see the white-tailed deer and other wildlife that we have available and take one of those home with them. Our first group of animals that we uh, added to the property were a number of uh, white-tailed bucks that were two and a half years old, and that was a number of years ago. And they have uh, become more fully developed, of course, you know, over that time, but they have also begun to develop a new herd, you know, with their genetics, along with the genetics of the animals that were here. 
So what we see now is, I mean, it's an incredible difference. And now we see the fruits of that labor with some tremendous bucks and some tremendous animals that we, we like just going out into the stands and watching them and trying to take pictures of them. They'll stand still long enough for us to do that. In what I call the Central Park location on the ranch are the facilities that support all the other operations here. I think my dad would be proud of what I've done. In the, all the time that he owned the property, he never once set foot here. He never told me why, he never told his brothers why, but he didn't set foot here. But I think he'd be, be proud that I had taken uh, the groundwork, and that's the way I look at it, a groundwork, the foundation that he laid, which was to ensure this property was here for me uh, when the time came to take that and then turn that into something that would mean something not just to me, but would mean something to other people. Because that, that was one of the things my dad was about, was about doing things to make a difference for other people uh, and make their lives better. I feel him here now. I can feel his, his uh, presence and sometimes I feel like he's looking over my shoulder, you know, helping make decisions about some of the things that happen. And I'm sure there are times when he's shaking his head, saying, I'm not sure I would have done that that way. But in the end, I think he's happy.